Hey, 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 everybody. How are you doing? It's me, Latara Venice, and we are here. I want to move this over a little bit. I look a little awkward. We are here in the Color Your Soul online community, and this is Soul and Heart Thursdays. What is Soul and Heart Thursdays about? Soul and Heart Thursdays is about you, your business. You are the soul of your business. And that's what I need for you to understand. And so on these Thursdays, what we're going to do, we're going to be talking business, entrepreneurship. Um, you may own a brick and mortar business. You may you may work for a corporate environment. How do you show up in business? That's going to be important, too. One of the things that I know that um, this work will do for you is just make the work you do better. So I want to make sure whether you are a new entrepreneur, whether you are wondering, you know, am I going to be an entrepreneur? You know, whether you have a corporate job, well, whoever you are, however you show up in the vocational arena, this is going to be a Thursday you want to attend because I'm going to bring videos every week for you guys to connect with and you will be able to see them on YouTube as well as here in the community. Now, those of you who are on YouTube, you may want to join us over in the community over at colouryoursoul.online. You want to make sure and put the www there. So www.colouryoursoul.online is how you can find us and actually come in and have a conversation with us, right? Let me say this. Yes, Color Your Soul is it seems like it's mostly for women, but with this shift, listen, gentlemen, I need you in there. We need your voice as well when it comes to how we're running our businesses. It would be really great. I want to this week just kind of talk a little bit about um, the lack of caring that most of us deal with. Some of you may have the book, Soul and Heart in Business. This is a workbook and I'm actually working on the devotion to go along with the workbook. But it's important to note that your soul and your heart show up in business whether you want it to or not. Your soul and heart shows up in, in business whether you think it does or whether you think it doesn't. It shows up like for real, for real shows up. OK. And what I want you to understand is that when it shows up, it's going to dictate how your business shows up for you. OK, so I want to read a little bit from the workbook, um, just just a moment and then um, ask you a question and we'll be done. Over the years of doing business for myself and partnering with others to help them with their business needs, I've noticed a lack of caring for what matters most. Many entrepreneurs will bypass taking care of themselves and neglect the value of having a healthy relationship with themselves, others and God. This causes dysfunction to show up even in the business they do daily. One of my favorite sayings is how you show up in business matters. In other words, business is personal and people pay attention to your attitude, actions, and behaviors. There is no mask in the world that can conceal the deeper part of who we are. There just isn't. You can put on, a, and this is what happens in business oftentimes. We think we have to show up with mask on or we have to show up different. You show up as you, whether you want to or not. People can see you and that's what you need to understand. People know who you are. People can, can sense your, your behaviors, like I said, your actions and your attitude. The other day, someone, um, someone on, on, on Facebook had said that business and the emotions don't mix. And I made a slight correction in saying, well, basically they do mix because emotions are a part of everything. Everything that we do involves emotions, whether you stuff those emotions in, whether you let them out, you know, like a river or whether you know how to manage them well. You will always, always see emotions involved in business. How do you show up emotionally? Well, that will determine how your business shows up as well. You are the soul of your business. Think about what would happen if a team mem member had a nasty attitude. How would you feel? What would happen if your business closed tomorrow? Or let's say a $5,000 or $10,000 client did not pay you on time and you had bills due. How would you feel? Isn't that emotional? Don't emotions come into that? The goal with Soul and Heart is to teach you how to posture your heart and your soul in such a way that 
your business thrives because you are thriving, right? No business should be in survival mode. People who grind and hustle are in survival mode. No business should be in survival mode. No kingdom business should be in survival mode. Okay, let me correct that. No kingdom business should be in survival mode. We serve a thriving God who gave us the breath of life. That means that we are meant to thrive as well. How are you showing up in business? Are you surviving or are you thriving? Really think about that. Here's your question for this week. Ask yourself, am I really in thriving mode or I am I simply surviving? What does that look like and why? I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.